Now, as our coverage of Cabinet Minister Obi Wilshkom's death continues, our Cleopatra Murphy shares with us the reaction of some sitting Cabinet colleagues. It's really unreal to me um, to even be speaking about this. The sentiments of Minister of Foreign Affairs, the Honorable Fred Mitchell, on the sudden death of veteran broadcaster and Minister of Social Services, Information and Broadcasting, the Honorable Obi Wilchcombe, a sobering reality that both he and his parliamentary colleagues are struggling to come to grips with. The minister whose relationship with Wilchcombe spans decades is mourning the loss of a man he also deemed a friend, one who made great contributions to politics and and journalism and was a champion for Grand Bahama. I used to always tease them. I said, you know, uh, people really put me at an uh, unfair a, a, a disadvantage when they ask me to speak after you. Because I've never seen anyone who has such a talent to speak extemporaneously. Um, he went and spoke without notes, uh, seamlessly, not a break, uh, just a, a, an excellent speaker. A riveting speaker. Minister of Works and Family Island Affairs, the Honorable Clay Sweeting, says he was taken aback by his mentor's death, as he always offered an encouraging word to the youth in the party. You know, he fought for his constituency, and he fought for the Bamian people, and he fought for, for those that probably wasn't, wasn't as privileged as most. And he always spoke about the core and the belief of the Progressive Liberal Party um, to make it better for the least among us. Devastating is how political neophyte and Minister of Labor and Public Service, the Honorable Pia Glover Roll, described the loss of her mentor and friend, a man she says was respected beyond party lines and always believed in putting one's best foot forward. His legacy would be his absolute brilliance, his oratorical brilliance, um, his historical excellence and his ability to tie in the past with the present and look towards the future. Terry Eyde, Minister of National Security, the Honorable Wayne Monroe, says Wilshcombe was a veteran at many things and always spoke from the heart. I remember when he spoke to me about the young women who were trafficked, young, young girls who were trafficked, and his passion that we not only had to bring the perpetrators to justice, but he, his focus was always, what do we do about the people who are hurt? And so he always sought to address the hurt. And he will be missed personally by me, as I say. I could always look forward, um, for want of a better word, some jokes often at my expense. Wilscombe's death comes as a blow for Minister of Energy and Transport, the Honorable Jobeth Colby Davis, who agrees he was a staunch believer in teaching younger politicians to perform in their roles. It's a great loss to the country. It's a great loss to the party. It's a great loss to us young politicians who are thankful to people like Minister Obi Wilchcombe that made it a purpose to be sure that we were ready, ready and prepared and that we had the great support of those who've been doing it before us. While Wilshire may be gone, his parliamentary colleagues say he leaves behind a legacy through the impact he would have made on the field of journalism, in the political arena, and through the impact he would have made on countless Bahamian lives. For The Bahamas Tonight, I'm Cleopatra Murphy.